Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today we have electric bike versus a super cross track and uh, it should be an interesting one considering I haven't done all too much testing, kind of you know just dilly dally and I chose Foxboro for today because I thought it was a pretty you know one line track or I guess it could be pretty diverse as well. So we're going to go ahead and try to complete this track. We're not going to try to set down like heaters or anything. We're just going to see how the electric bike does uh, against the supercross track and so I'm very curious how how it's gonna go and uh, we might try to triple a few things we might have to uh, you know settle for some weird lines I know the left side of the whoop section works really well and look at that the electric bike gets through that those whoops like crazy can we get this triple maybe with about a run through the corner and then I'm actually going to use this berm. I know it probably takes off a lot of time. Hang on, I'm going to have to redo that. Slid out. Spike's got a lot of acceleration power, so its top speed isn't all that great, but it can definitely uh, definitely get going. Can I get that backflip? Holy, I did not think that that was going to happen. But, uh, hey, best tries, you know. Go off, and then we can actually hit this triple on off. I actually almost quad over that. Head into this corner, just do the little dilly dally double, triple, get this triple, we did, get the next triple, we do, and then, uh, you know, jump on into here, jumped a little deep into that one, yeah, we're not, not looking so hot on that one, I know the main line through there is to just jump, or, or roll double, but I like to, uh, to double over that, especially with the electric bike, I think, yeah, this thing gets moving through the whoops, you know? It kind of goes crazy, and then we'll uh, try to get the better run. Yeah, there you go. Much more clean right there. I think the ideal lap that we can maybe put up, I mean, if that's a 59, I'd say like a 55 maybe. If we can beat that, I think I'd be impressed. Actually, we did that backflip in the, in the beginning. We're already, we're already up on that. Um, I'd say give me a chance at a 54 or 53. I think it's possible, so we're going to have to see what we can do. But we're going to have to kind of send her if we're going to try to get you know, a pretty good lap up and see how uh, how good this thing really is. I'm not going to try the main line here. I'm going to stick to the, the whole double and then double. And then the attempt at a triple, kind of get over that and then double and then jump out like so. And then we got to get the run through the whoops, of course. Everybody knows that the, the whoops are very important. Get the triple on over. Very scuffed. Can we get that triple? We do get that triple. And then head on inside right here. And actually go up. And for a 53.8 right there, it's not bad. I think that that's pretty solid. Um, yeah, I guess. Talk a little bit less about the bike and the track. Um, with uh, We'll talk about AMA Supercross coming up. It should be very fun. I will have a uh, show. I don't know if you guys have... Heard my uh, my last videos. I haven't been doing all that great, so maybe not a lot of people have heard. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead and start up a, a new show uh, that you know I'll be bringing to you guys for uh, the the Supercross season. Kind of just covering my thoughts on it, and uh, hopefully it turns out nice. I'm still been working on a few things, so that's just something to look out for. It'll happen uh, for Supercross, and you guys will be able to, uh, watch it, it'll all be on this YouTube channel as a second video, or I might have to make it, like, like, a day's video, like, I'm not gonna double upload in one day, uh, just because of how long that it takes, I don't think I could do two videos, and I'm running another YouTube channel as well, so, yeah, I, I don't know, we'll see where it all leads, but, um, yeah, I guess, I don't know, we'll see how things kind of shake out, but I just thought you guys should know, if you guys didn't already, and, um, I guess, yeah, that's that. And then uh, back onto the bike and stuff like that. I'm using the MX-1 OEM um, bike, the electric bike. So if you guys were curious, because I know that there's like a 250 and 450 version. I'm not sure the differences between the two. So you guys uh, might have to enlighten me on that one. But yeah, I don't really know or notice the differences between the two other than, uh, you know, acceleration, like starting maybe. So, um, yeah, I guess that's something to take into account. Get that triple right there by cutting down. Yeah, this thing's kind of a, a monster. This thing kind of is really good. I'm not saying that it's like, 
you know, worth maining the bike, right? Like, you don't want to ride this forever. Probably have a little less fun, but it's just, a, it's fun to know that it's a, it's a bike that's rideable. Um, especially with the tires mods. Um, this thing was not a blast to ride when you were pretty bad at the game, I'll tell you that much. Because uh, you just don't have that power that you need to get through some things, especially on Supercross. So, um, yeah, I mean, guess we still got to uh, try this big triple right there. Couldn't quite get it. Um, thought I'd try it anyways. Didn't quite get it like you guys saw. But I will say backflips are kind of easier on this thing if I, if I do say so. And, um, yeah, I mean, electric bike versus Supercross is, I think, a great video idea. And uh, hopefully I'm executing well on it. But yeah, this this just seems to be, you know, the right track for it as well. I think that this bike really suits the track. Foxboro, round 15 of last year's um, Supercross Championship. In case any of you guys were curious to want to go and get it. So, um, yeah, I mean, it works well. I mean, you're seeing it right now. It's a very, very fun, uh, fun thing to do is kind of just rip it up on it i'm sorry i'm trying to like kind of i was kind of ripping it for a second fell out of flow though never a good thing can we backflip that we did yeah it's just, it's just so easy and then i'm gonna go roll double actually right here can we get that triple oh my god we got the triples ah uh, we got the triple didn't quite grease the second one still got over it but that's kind of the main line right there but uh, yeah, I don't know if it saves much time. And then, yeah, this thing shreds through the whoops. I'm going to have to try, like, the Arlington whoops. If you guys don't know, those are, like, the most difficult whoops in the, the Aerial series. Um, with this thing, like, that thing, would this thing might just eat them up. Might be that good. Try to scrub that the best I could. Oh, I'm not making it on here. Yeah, didn't think so. Let's still go up for that double right there and then go double right there. Do you like that? And then we'll go double, triple. And you guys are actually seeing me kind of go faster. And I'm kind of clicking with the bike. Um, until something like that happens. I don't even know what happened. I think the back tire might have lost grip and then regained it. Kind of shot me the other way. Go double, double, triple. Try to get over that one. Go double again. And then jump out of the corner. I'm trying to absolutely rip it through the whoops. Didn't get the greatest run through the corner doesn't matter we're still making that triple right there and then gotta have we gotta have that triple got it take it soaring into this berm try to round that off the best we can throw her and uh holy did not get any sort of scrub on that right there and just ended up sending it into this it's fine we'll take the little take the little check down to you know just jumping it instead of uh hopping on and off you know what's the big idea We'll go scrub over that triple. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to go too fast. Now, I, I started to click at the bike a little too much, tossing her sideways and everything like that. But, I mean, hey, if it's going to work, it's going to work, right? Oh, crap. Uh, <clears throat> maybe, I, maybe I better settle down here before I crash too many times and it's just too hard to watch. But going right here, up and over, I want to see how big that lip is. So yeah, you can get that line, and you can also just end up going on off. There, I think that that's a fair line, and this is going to be one killer run through the whoops right here. Not as actually good as I thought. Okay, I kind of made it to be something it wasn't. That triple right there, it's getting pretty easier. It's getting pretty easier. It's getting pretty easy and easier as time goes on. Kind of figure out that corner. Got to get to it right there. Get both of those doubles in. And then go up on this, go off. Still try to stretch out that uh, triple on off there. And then jump into the corner after chipping your back is not the best idea. Maybe you want to slow things down right there. And then one thing that is very interesting about this is like there's no, there is no clutch, I don't think. I, I don't think that there's a clutch. And uh, you can only stand and sit. There's no gears. Can't shift up or anything like that. There's no gas you have to deal with, and it is super light, the bike is. The bike is so light, it's crazy. I couldn't believe it. Like, I'll brake tap in air for you guys. I guess you guys can't really, like, feel or see that. But, yeah, if you guys test this thing out, you will notice the difference on how light it is. 
it is crazy how much this thing weighs compared to the average mx bike bike i mean this thing can straight up rip it's uh it's so light so i mean it's a good and bad thing i think that uh you know you can find more good than bad with this bike and more fun than uh than not fun so definitely recommend trying this out this track will be linked in the description if you want to try this one or if you want to try any other ones it's it's also fine do whatever you want but uh yeah I, I recommend this track as well i mean this one super fun for the bike it works well you can get all the lines you know if you're if you're good enough uh no offense to all the people out there but uh if you can you know stretch out a few a few lines with this bike then uh you know maybe you can get you know a little bit of them Try to get over this actually and jump like that into there. Do like that line. Then this is the shredder line through the whoops right there. All the way left. Sends you on a good run. We'll have to uh, check up and go double single. Get that back tire down. Pop her up into a wheelie. Heading into this corner. And uh, still trying to make that jump after you know using the, the cheap line. Couldn't quite get there. Still get that back flip. There we go. Oh my god please. Oh wow. No way I backflipped that. That's crazy. But um, it, it worked. So I guess that's pretty cool. Still go on off right here. This will probably be like my last lap. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a super fun video right here. This has just been super fun of me going on and on about the bike and everything like that. And kind of how it uh, how it treats and you know how easy it is to kind of gel with the bike. This bike is definitely different than all others. And you can tell with uh, you know immense differences it's crazy what this bike can do compared to uh the other ones this one's just not quite like anything in the game um i definitely recommend giving it a try and uh giving her a good go on a, a good super cross track or even if you wanted to motocross but i don't think it'd be uh nearly as fun as a super cross but yeah that'll probably be it for me thank you guys for watching i do appreciate it and yeah just be careful be aware Turn, uh, you know, notifications on or subscribe, like, whatever you guys need to do to stay tuned with the channel because, I mean, one, I could use the support if we're going for like 800 by the end of the year. I think that it's very possible. It's in our grasps if we can come out with some, some banger videos and if they do well. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can get to like 800 maybe by the end of the year. It'd be a, be a good start. So, um, yeah, maybe... See you guys next time. Next banger idea I come out with. You guys uh, definitely got to stay tuned with the channel. And we got big things coming too. So, um, yeah, that'll be it for me. Thank you guys for watching.